Okay, so welcome to a new video. So we're near the end of the Math Worksheet Generator launch period. There's been a ton of questions regarding the software. So this video is dedicated purely to answering those questions that I received in the comments and in email. If you have any questions that haven't been addressed in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments. So let's just get on with this. The first question I'm getting asked quite a lot is, how is your book doing? So if you aren't sure what this is referring to, uh, a couple of weeks ago before the software launch, I created a book using the software, uploaded onto Amazon KDP and pretty much documented um, the release of this book on my channel. You can go to the description and just find it there. There's some videos on it, but you can see it here now on my screen. Um, the update with this book is if I just load it up quickly, um, basically we're ranked 168,000 at the moment with our BSR. Um, it's gone as high as 500,000. It's gone as low as 100,000. And basically what that's meant is that it's evened out to about 20 sales in the last, uh, I think it's two weeks now, 10 of them coming from ad campaigns. Um, but more importantly, what we find if we come over to incognito mode and search for a few keyword terms here, like math workbook, for example, uh, we'll see that we are actually on the second page for this phrase. I think we're probably still there at the moment. So this is us here, halfway down the second page for one of the most competitive keyword terms. So I think for an independent publisher, that's that's not bad. And for addition and subtraction work, but which was the main keyword that I was, uh, the keyword phrase that I was trying to target for this book, we can see, I think I just saw myself, we are pretty close to the top of this one with no reviews. So I think so far so good, um, getting some traction, getting some sales, that's the most important thing at the moment getting eyes onto the book and hopefully over time we're going to start getting some reviews for this and then we can start upping uh, the price for it. So yeah, the journey of this book, the creation process, the the thought that goes behind it, the pricing and the ad strategy campaigns uh, that went behind this book are all um, documented in the case study that I'm doing with the bonus for this software. I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but for now let's just go through the rest of the questions. So next question, are the solutions editable in the PPTX files? So keep in mind, uh, before I answer this question, the PPTX files, uh, the file type is only available in the OTO number one, but the answer is yes, you can edit them um, through PowerPoint. So if I just quickly come over to PowerPoint and show you what to do. So provided that you have the OTO number one, what you'll be able to do is come to the download here, download it as the PPTX, and then of course you're gonna need to go ahead and open that into Photoshop, uh, whatever it's called, PowerPoint. And to clarify, I pretty much never used PowerPoint, but once you're in PowerPoint, you can come to the solutions, uh, right click on it, and then come down to convert to shape. Click on that, and then once you've done that, you'll have the option to move the solutions around. And you can do the same uh, with, the, with the equations themselves. You can right click on that, come down to convert to shape, and again, you can do whatever you want from there pretty much. So the next question here is, is it possible to avoid duplicate equations on the same page? So the answer to that is no, it's not possible as of now. There may be some duplications and that's pretty normal in such books. They don't know at the moment if they're going to be adding that into the future, um, into the software in the future. But for now, you are not able to do that. But you do have the option to regenerate the equations on the page until you're happy. Next question, can I access your bonus section with a fee? Um, unfortunately not, that's not something I've had planned to set up. So at this point, at the point of recording this, it's not something I've had in mind. Um, so at the moment, that's a no. It was originally just planned for people that purchased the software. So it's, yeah, again, I can't set this up in such a short period of time, but um, we'll see in the future, maybe. Next question, is it possible to edit the equations manually to override what the software has created? Uh, that's not possible, but you have the option on every single equation that you create to, to regenerate the entire page using the one click button. So what you can do here is come across to the app and then on any of the equations that you've created is just to left click on them and then come up to the regenerate data here. Click that. That's going to regenerate the data and randomize all the equations once more. Next question, which OTO has the clocks in it? So the clocks are in OTO number two. And if you're not familiar with the clock section here, we have three different options of time telling that we can add into our pages. So we have the ones with the hands, we have the ones without the hands, and we also have the ones 
with the multiple answers to choose from. Next question is, if I purchase the software, can I share my account with multiple people? Uh, the answer is no, it's one person per software. Do not try and do that. Next question, can I sell these on Etsy? So the answer to that is yes, but I think you need to be clear of what you are allowed and not allowed to do with the software. So I think the easiest way that we can address that is by coming over to the website's FAQs where it's gonna clear up a lot of things for you. So let's just go over the FAQ here when it comes to the usage of your worksheets. So can I sell the worksheets, books, or any derivative products on marketplaces like Fiverr, Creative Fabrica, Design Cuts, etc.? No, you can't. You cannot create any content to sell on such platforms using the app. Next one being, can I use the worksheets generated for commercial use? Yes, you can sell your worksheets and math practice workbooks on Amazon KDP, Etsy, and through your own e-commerce websites and keep 100% of the profits. When you sell your books to the end user, you sell them with personal use rights so your customers can use the books for their personal use. Can I sell the books to others with commercial use rights? No, you can't. This purchase allows you to create and use books where you sell those to the end user and thus make a profit from selling the books you create. You cannot sell the math worksheets to a client who uses the assets or the books you sold for commercial usage. So for 99% of us, we're going to be absolutely fine because we're just going to be selling these on KDP and Etsy, etc. And actually just quickly regarding the whole Etsy thing, I was selling printables about a year ago, a year and a half ago, um, and actually did very well. So I think this is a very good opportunity to create some printables for Etsy. And as you can see, uh, they're pretty popular. And this is possibly something I might try and get into. And if I do get into this, I will start making videos on it. Um, if it is successful, if it's not, then obviously I won't. But it certainly looks like a lot of people are selling them, which is a good thing. Next question, isn't this niche saturated on KDP already? Yes, is the answer. Yes, it is. Early education books are heavily saturated and competitive. Um, the concept of, of math books is, is nothing new on Amazon. People have been creating these books for years. Publishing companies, people that have used software before this software, people that do it manually, people that buy pre-made interiors, years of it. Even when publishing paperback books took place through CreateSpace, people were doing this. And if you can find me a broad niche like this that has a ton of buyer traffic going to it, that doesn't have significant competition, send me a message so that we can publish in it together. But that won't happen because they don't exist. This software being released is but a drop in the ocean of Amazon. If you, if you go ahead and you create generic math workbooks and just throw them onto Amazon without any thought, then you won't make sales. And you can do that a thousand times a month and you still won't make sales. It's the same with coloring books, activity books, or any type of low content book. None of it is easy. None of it is a guarantee. But with this software, you can target a huge range of people within the broad niche and make sales, which is the same as coloring books, activity books, and any low content books. So, so my stance on this is never going to change. Even if the software sold thousands of copies, I'll still use it for my KDP business and I'll still make sales. If the thought of any resource that helps you create content faster scares you away from building a business, then stay away from every niche, stay away from publishing, stay away from trying to earn money on the online. And it's a strange perspective because did you know that Canva has like 70 million users? Did you know that Creative Fabrica has over a million users? And a huge amount of these people are using these resources to make books all day long and publish them on KDP. And then on top of that, you have the ones that buy pre-made interiors. And then on top of that, you have the ones that upload the same book a hundred times a month. Yet mine and a lot of other people still produce their best selling books in these niches. Creativity, uniqueness, research, some thought, and maybe a little bit of ad spend will help you bypass probably 99% of these books. And I absolutely urge you to not buy the software if you plan to mass produce books with them. Okay, rant over, next question. Can I buy the software at a later date? Yes, you can, but keep in mind the launch period price ends at midnight Eastern time on 25th of July, where the prices will go up and they will stay up forever. Okay, so that's it for the questions I can find on my channel. If you have any more, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Again, just a gentle reminder that the launch period ends on the 25th of July at midnight. And back to the bonus that I mentioned at the start of this video, uh, we're going to be looking at a couple of big bonuses here, which are the workbook formula case study. So that is 15 videos that I created that documented the entire journey of the workbook that I created and sold on KDP, which is this one here, so that you get an insight into how publishing into competitive niches actually goes down no matter what the competition. And the second bonus here is the workbook formula family, which is a members area that I will continue to update with new ideas and strategies, creative ways to use the software 
and more. So this is something that I am committing to for at least the next three months, which will hopefully help you set your books apart from the trash that exists out there and will continue to exist regardless of this software or not. And just one more thing before I go, like how would you like to see more videos like this, the ones that show off the books that are being created? Because, you know, take away the launch, take away the software, take away the, the price drops and everything like that. Why don't we do something like a poll and we pick like, um you know, one book from out of like five different saturated niches and we'll see what it takes to make sales in those niches. Would you be interested in seeing more videos like that? Now that I've shown off one of the books, I'll be keen to do that um, with more in the future. But yeah, let me know and that's the end of the video and I'll see you very soon.